Welcome to the Print Runner instructional video detailing how to export your Quark Express 8 document into a print ready PDF file. We encourage you to use this method as much as possible to ensure that your order meets our file check requirements and prevents any delays in the production process. With your Quark file open, check that any guides layer is not showing. If it is, hide it or preferably delete it. Then go to the file menu and choose export and layout as PDF. In the export as PDF dialog window, give your file a proper name and choose a location that you remember. At the bottom of the window, choose all pages and then click the options button. In the PDF export options window, choose press high quality from the PDF style drop-down. This presets many of the options and fields to the closest possible settings for our print runner. In the first setting, called Pages, leave spreads and include blank pages unchecked. Only check include blank pages if you are sending a catalog or booklet file with actual blank pages to retain the order in the pagination. Skip to the Compression tab. This allows you to downsample any excessively large images down to a specific resolution. It is only necessary for you to give us images at 300 dpi. Any more than this is excessive and will create an unnecessarily large PDF file. Choose Manual Zip 8-Bit Compression with Bicubic Downsample Resolution at 300 dpi or ppi for all three image choices, color, grayscale, and monochrome. Check the box for compressed text and line art. In the color tab, leave the mode at composite and choose composite CMYK setup. If you are placing an order that actually specifies a Pantone color, then choose composite CMYK and spot. Under Fonts, leave the Select All box checked so that it downloads the fonts into the PDF. For Marks, choose Centered Mode and keep the Width as is. For the Length of the Marks, enter 1 8 or quarter inch. In the Offset field, enter 8 inch or 0.125. Do not leave at zero. Bleed Marks are not necessary. For bleed, choose symmetric from the bleed type drop down, which enables you to only have to enter an eighth inch or 0.125 in the first bleed amount field. Keep the clip at bleed edge box checked. After this, it is not necessary to go to any of the other tabs. Click the OK button and then click Save in the Export as PDF window. Go to the PDF file and check through it to ensure that everything looks OK. Thanks for watching this clip. I hope it was very informative. If you have any other questions or issues, you can visit the Print Runner website to view more of our help topics. Thank you.